I would like to show a case where membrane optic capture solved the problem of significant lens tilt, uh, induced astigmatism, and very uh, high degree of higher order aberration. 77 year old lady that had surgery eight years ago and her lens had one haptic in the bag and the other one was in the vitreous. You see how it's quivering here when we're doing vitrectomy to remove herniating vitreous. So that we're sitting superiorly on the left eye and that inferior temporal haptic is not supported by the capsule. So after vitrectomy, fortunately the haptic in the bag was holding the lens stable. Now we're going to pull the optic up through the membrane to entrap it in the membrane opening to give it a stable center fixation without lens tilt. She came with two and a half diopters of against the rule astigmatism, 2150 uncorrected vision. Now we're pulling the other side anterior to the capsule. So that temporal haptic has remained in the capsule but now we're using optic capture to center and stabilize the optic. One day postoperatively, her astigmatism had changed from one and a half diopters against the rule to a half a diopter with the rule, which was her topographical uh, cylinder. And her uncorrected vision changed from 2150 to 2030 and she had 20-20 corrected vision. Just a final use of the vitrector to make sure there's no herniating vitreous. This has been edited down. We had used triessence to identify vitreous earlier. So membrane optic capture can be used to center dislocated intraocular lenses. Thank you for your attention.